Hi everybody, I want to talk to you a little bit about using the whiteboard in Teams. Um, so there's three different ways. You can use the whiteboard inside of meeting, you can use it on the web, or you can uh, use it uh, using the, the whiteboard app. Um, obviously this is another option where I could just hold up a physical object, but it's quite clumsy. So I want to show you what the digital options are for using Teams um, whiteboard. Um, so the first one inside of a meeting. So if I'm currently having a meeting with somebody else, I can go up to the share button. So right now I'm going, going to share and I'm actually just going to share my background because I have a screenshot of what this looks like. It's hard to show it um, normally. So if you click on this share button, the share content button, you'll have a wide variety of options that pop up. And one of them is the whiteboard. Uh, the disadvantage of using uh, this option is that it um, cannot be recorded. Um, so if you're trying to record using Teams, then whatever happens during that uh, whiteboard session is not being recorded. It's a limitation of using the whiteboard within a meeting. Um, it is good. It does give you the option of collaborating live and everybody in the meeting can collaborate or you can just have it as um, you being a presenter. If you presenting is what you want to do, then um, ideally you would share your screen um, and I'll do that again by showing you. Um, you'll share your screen and you'll bring it to using the web version. So here's the second option is that you can use um, the Microsoft whiteboard um, from the Office 365 suite. So if you go to the waffle, you have all these um, tools that are available as part of Office 365 and one of them is the whiteboard and it basically takes you to whiteboard.microsoft.com and it loads up not only every meeting I've uh, ever had when I've used the whiteboard. So these are our existing uh, meetings, but also I can create new ones. Um, and so this is good. Um, it's a very basic. It gives me some pencils and some uh, stamps. And you know, if I'm using my mouse, I can write. It's not bad so I can right using uh, my mouse. It's a little bit awkward and it's not as ideal as it could be. Um, you could get something like this, which is a Wacom tablet. Um, they come, that's with a really big one, but they have smaller ones, you know, and they have a special pen that you could use and you can also um, write, which is a little bit savvier. Um, uh, though my preference though, um, I'm going to stop sharing and I'll show you what my uh, preferred um, method is. I'm also logged in um, on my other device, which is a Microsoft Surface tablet. And uh, you can have two accounts or one account logged in um, at the same time. So, uh, and I'm muted in the second one and I'll have all the sound off, so there's no feedback. Um, but basically there's also this ability, um, so I'm gonna share it on here to use the app. So I'm sharing my desktop You'll see this meeting that I created. Um, here's the the app, which actually looks almost identical um, to the um, to the web version, except you'll notice that there's quite a few more pencils and highlighter and other tools available to you, adding pictures and images. And every time that you click on one of the pencils, you also have like this thickness. And so since I'm using the app on my Surface, then I have the stylus available and I can have a um, greater degree of control. And so, you know, I could I could write about, you know, the different options. There's a three different options of the whiteboard. Um, and we have the in Teams, um, the web version, and then we have the app. And this one is my preferred one. But um, and it, and as you can see, this is all being recorded, so um, it it is um, the most flexible as far as I'm concerned. So that's basically it. There's not much more to it. Um, as you may notice, it's um, sometimes a split attention to be able to write and draw at the same time. But I think this is um, something that most people who have ever used um, the chalkboard or the um, projector um, to to communicate ideas. Um, so this can be done beforehand and recorded, or you can do it live in a meeting and record it after the fact as you can have be part of the conversation. Okay, those are basically the the um, the, diff the things I wanted to share with you, right? Like that. Um, excuse my um, stumbling through. Okay.